The Museum of Neon Art has been open since 1981, and yet the Museum of Neon Art is still one of the least known museums in all of Southern California. We've been located in downtown Los Angeles in various locations off and on for years and years, and we finally made our way to Glendale, California. Uh, my name is Eric Linksweiler. I've been with the Museum of Neon Art for about 17 years now as a member of the board of directors, as a neon cruise guide, as a neon sign saver, and uh, all around sign guy. If it has to do with neon signs in Los Angeles, I'm your guy. We're an odd museum because the Museum of Neon Art is dedicated to neon signage, but was founded by neon artists. So we also focus on modern neon artwork. It's a very strange combination, but we're an all-electric museum. As long as you plug it in, we love it. We don't buy any pieces for the Museum of Neon Art. We don't have the budget to purchase these neon signs. Everything that you see in here has been donated. Uh, some are on loan from private collections, including my own, believe it or not. Uh, but the Museum of Neon Arts collection is completely donation only. But we really have to spend our money focusing on restoration and maintenance of these big guys. We just restored a Brown Derby, the 1929 Brown Derby from Hollywood and Vine. Would we have been able to afford this classic piece of Hollywood? No. Thankfully it was donated. We actively go out into the community uh, even write letters nationwide and let business owners know they have a valued sign. We had one particular business like take our letter, put it on their file cabinet with a refrigerator magnet and just hold on to the letter for about 12 years. And then at the end of 12 years their business closed and they said we have a home for the sign and they gave us the neon sign. That neon sign is a giant green neon frog with a top hat and he's located in our lobby right now. People can walk in our door, see this one giant room and say, is that all there is? And I'm like, are you kidding me? There's so much more to us. Come back in four months and you'll see something new. We aren't just one stagnant museum. We have a gigantic collection to call from in order to rotate our signs in and out. If a neon sign is threatened, we will speak out about that neon sign, whether it's in New York, Canada, or Washington, we'll, we'll step up to the bat and say, uh, please save it or please donate it, just to keep these signs in the public eye. I think every one of us has a different perspective on neon, and when people walk into the Museum of Neon Art, they come, on, they come in with different eyes. Um, some people come to the museum because the signs are culturally important to them. Other people come in to the museum because they enjoy the science of what makes these colors, what makes the signs light up. One of my personal favorite signs in the collection is one that I literally picked out of a dumpster from being demolished. It's the Zodiac Room. It makes me smile. With a beautiful combination of a D and an I, the Z is amazing. The design of the signs is too important to lose. The Neon Cruises, they're not for tourists. Uh, my tagline for the, the Neon Cruise is, if you think you know Los Angeles, then come with me. I want to show people a different side of Los Angeles, a piece of LA they've never seen. I've actually had one person get off of my bus and tell me that she never realized that you can get from Hollywood to downtown on surface streets. I don't like to take the same route twice, so I rearrange the neon cruise every so often in order to mix it up for people and people who return to take the tour. More often than not, I have Los Angelinos step off of my bus and go, holy cow. I've never seen any of this before. Thank you for showing me an LA that was totally unknown, and yet it's always been there. I'm happy to share it. It's a convertible double-decker bus, and we don't want to give this tour on an enclosed bus. It just won't work. It's right there, open since 1920. For me, it's a megaphone tour. I've, I have to have my megaphone in hand so I can talk to the people on the bus, but also talk to the people on the street and say hello to passerby. It's a loud, obnoxious, not your grandma's tour. I can't imagine a world in which these relics would disappear. I want the Museum of Neon Art to be here in perpetuity in order to save, cherish, and educate people about the importance of the American road sign. I personally believe that Los Angeles is what you make it. I've made Los Angeles a brighter place, I think. That's, that's my LA.